Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen. I'm going to show you how to make thing one and thing two out of gum paste. Still chipping away at my classic children's literature cake here. I'm going to show you how I made thing one and thing two from Dr. Seuss today. And uh, let's get right to it. All right. To make the body, I started with a big wad of red gum paste. Their bodies are really very basic. It's just like people wearing footy pajamas with gloves attached. There's really not a lot of detail there. So you saw I made the, f the three cuts, one right down the middle for the legs, one up the side on each side for the arms, make it a little taller, and then just start rounding everything off. Uh, the legs and the body and everything are really basic. There's not any great amount of detail or anything, but he, the thing one and thing two are kind of long and thin. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're going on with them. And as you can see, I made very long arms and legs there, but I just trim off anything that I feel like is too much, so it's not a big deal. It's always easier to take more off, and it sucks a whole lot less than having to start all over to add more on. So when you get a good size, you're going to make little mitten hands for these creatures. Um, I just push the hand out to the, or the finger mitten part out on the end of the arm. Make one little slice to separate the thumb and shorten it up a little bit and just carefully round it off a little and you got their hands done. And the legs are, like I said, footy pajama style. So you got legs, just turn them up at the end, make little feet, and there you go, you got their feet done. So you got the body going pretty good. And just round it off. This is gonna be going, uh, thing one and thing two are gonna be against the side of a cake. They're not gonna be standing on the top. So they're not, I'm not gonna really worry about them being able to freestand. So that's why I'm kind of doing these simpler styles and poses. And I'm not doing a lollipop stick down the center. If you're going to have them standing on the top, you would have to work that in somehow down a leg. You saw I just added a circle of gum paste, um, a ball that I flattened and stuck it on the top because they kind of have like a turtleneck on their suits that they wear. And I'm using the back of my knife blade to just put some wrinkles in their clothes because their clothes are all wrinkled and baggy and saggy as well. So that's what I'm doing there. Make sure you don't lose too much of your shape. And I'm going to put a piece of a lollipop stick in just so it'll have support for the head and the neck that I'm going to add a little bit later. But first I'm going to pose the body because the red was starting to dry out on me and you don't want that to happen. I'm making them each kind of in more of a playful pose rather than just standing there stiff and flat against the cake. I wanted them to come out from the cake a little bit. And I did it more with this one figure than the other one. You can see I made his knee bend out and I'm using a piece of paper towel to just prop up his arm so his arm is bent and coming out a little bit as well. All right, and then ideally he's gonna be standing on that one foot. Now I took the stick out of his head again and put some white around it and I'm trimming it off so that it kind of more resembles um, cotton candy on a stick, you know? But then I flattened it off so it's real skinny at the bottom and it's gonna get wider where it connects to the head. All right, you can kind of see it there. The head itself is going to be a ball of white that I flatten the top half of, kind of pinch in the sides, because they have um, kind of cartoony faces. Their cheeks and nose and mouth area sticks out a lot. The eyes is more recessed and tucked in a little bit. So that's all I'm doing here. And again, because this is going on to the side of a cake, I'm leaving the back of the head flat. I'm going to add the hair to the back of it and sandwich it sort of to the lollipop stick. That was a little tiny ball of white for his nose I just stuck on there. And this is white rolled out really thin. And it's going to be the little symbol on his chest that says thing one or thing two. Okay, for the hair, I took blue, rolled it out pretty thin, not crazy thin, but pretty thin. Made the bottom of it flat and then just started cutting triangles out of it. And I did it all the way around. And I did it in several different size circles. You have to go really big. They have really big hair. So I had three or four circles that I did just of staggered sizes. And then the strip here, you see this rectangle, that's going to be kind of like the 3D bangs part that comes out. So you'll see in a moment. Okay, when you have your different size circles, you put the biggest one on the bottom. And then you realize, oh, I should have put the smaller one on first and then put the bottom. So you slip that one on in there. And I did end up adding another one to him because I felt like his hair wasn't big enough. But same idea, just bigger circle. Stuck it on the back after I did it. You see I trimmed off the bangs. I'm curling them a little bit. And then wrapping it around his head, almost like a headband. 
and this gives his hair a little more dimension, makes it a little more full and thick looking. And then I'm just kind of bending the spikes a little bit because they kind of feather around. If you look at pictures of Dr. Seuss's characters, they're not real stick out spiky, they're flowy spiky. They're soft and fluffy spiky. And yeah, a little bit of water tucks everything in place. Okay, I made the second one. You can see he's got a little bit different of a pose, but not too drastic. I'm using a black edible food coloring marker to write thing one and thing two, and then you start adding the highlight lines. Um, Dr. Seuss has a lot of lines in his decorations, so don't be worrying about that. I'm putting the smile on his face. He's got big lines on the cheeks, a big long smile. His mouth is open with a little curve under the bottom there for an accent or detail or something. And then I started adding some extra black lines just around his body. I went over some of the marks that I made with the back of the, mar of the um, knife in his clothes. I made some more extra wrinkles. And here I am doing the eyes. The eyes are like little, almost complete circles, but they are open on the bottom. And the pupils are like little letter Vs. And I also highlight the nose. I circled the nose a little bit. So you can see there. I'm trying to do it anyway. And give them some eyebrows. And again, just some more black lines all over the body for details. Um, you're going to do the arms, the legs, the feet, all around. Make sure he's baggy and saggy, especially around the waist and the belly and around those things, the signs on his chest. And then add some more black lines to the hair. Just his hair, or their hair, it is kind of fluffy and flowy. So don't make your lines necessarily perfectly straight. You can have them curved and, and a little bit wavy. But make them, you know, here and there in groups of twos or threes even is good. And for my guys, like I said, I stuck them on the side of my Dr. Seuss cake and he looks pretty darn freaking good. So please check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and as always guys, thanks for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.